welcome back to techno surgeon youtube channel so today we are having the news regarding intel r and the spokesperson like the ryan shroud from intel Gra arc graphics marketing and tom peterson intel fellow has stated like intel arc a750 and a750 possibly a750 will deliver you performance in directx 12 close to rtx 3060 it says peterson and you are going to get like si slightly upper performance compared to rtx 3060 which means like the rumors where we will see like the performance close to 3070 was true kind of true like they are getting upwards of 17 to 10 percent higher compared to 3060 rtx 3060 which is nice but it's on the based on the titles and maybe it's close to 3070 performance but it don't doesn't have ray tracing as of now and it also will be like it will be winning in 3060 but the performance will be less compared to 3070 as it is stated here like it says a little bit higher compared to 3060 so it is possible but the performance very close to 3070 is not that possible maybe with a770 and we also have the newest like they had most of the as i see the people working on this arc gpus have gone on to work on battle mage which which is intel's next generation of graphics card which is going to launch next year possibly and on the specific time and not be delayed like arc but yeah it is going it is most of the team is moved on to battle mage as of now which is nice like maybe next generation gpus are pretty significant compared to this gen so yeah and another competitor has reportedly entered the market and we all know it's from imagination and we all know it's power vr it is the same graphics chip which most of the gaming consoles came with back in the 90s and it it, it has also powered sega gen dreamcast i think i had one machine with power vr but it is the graphics division which had come came back and after 30 years there and they are moving forward with it looking back and moving forward with it with it and they are making a they made a new gpu based on it and it gives as you can see on the screen here it is the gpu that they had made and it is by phantom like yeah in by inso silicon you know silicon and it is the gpu which they had made in partnership with them and it comes with jdd 6 x ram on a 128 bit bus to deliver a 5 teraflops of f uh, of compute so it is a type a and type a card and it gives you like basically five teraflops of compute in bxt32 and it is while a type b is a dual chip like it is a multi gpu setup like mcm architecture and it comes with twice the performance so yeah and fantasy one type a has a target performance of gt rtx 3060 great performance so yeah maybe it is possibly better than rtx 3060 we still don't know about it but yeah new gpu mark gpu maker might be re-entering the market and if it happens like it will be a nice competition to nvidia amd and intel we just have to wait and watch but the gpu looks awesome as you can see on the screen here like this is the this is ended the gpu fantasy one by you know silicon and with, it has made by imaginations power via cpus power via gpu so yeah moving on we have news regarding ryzen 9 7950x possibly ryzen 7000 we knew like it outperforms i9 12900k but this time we have performance which is much more higher than anything like we we saw at clock clock like multicore score close to 30,000 points but now it is close to 36,000 37,000 to be 36,000 720 to be exact but close to 37,000 like and do note it is not done on it is not done on air cool but it has done on AIO it is not using liquid nitrogen and at that performance like 36,256 it comes close to 13, 13 cities like i9 13900k in multi core performance but it clearly doesn't take clearly doesn't bait it in single core and it is almost 240 watts it takes full power of 240 watts and it comes with full power from motherboard 240 watts which it can deliver and it comes with 360 mid this 360 rad aio do note that in mind but it is significantly higher compared to prevision and it was done on testing bios f1 bios by on asus 
gigabyte or is 15 and it also score like 37,452 points so yeah it can go indeed go higher on fresh and updated bios and we have news regarding i9 3900k at extreme 350 perf watt performance and do note it has it is at 350 watt and it scores 37,452 and um, it beats Ryzen 7000 I messed it up previously like 37,000 is from i9 and not by 79 Ryzen 9 7950XT so yeah and moving on we have official renders of RTX 3040 series 4080 leaks and it did it looks similar to that of previous generation like it is not getting major upgrades but the GPU fan is make looking bigger compared to 30 series and it has seven flare fan blades and it is bigger and and by video cards nvidia has recently introduced a new font type which called nvidia sans nala and yeah it is official as of now and as you can see on the screen here that font is indeed on the gpu so it is truly the gpu and it it is true like this twitter has tweeted out like it, it is indeed the gpu 4080 GPU so yeah we got the first official image of RTX 4080 and we know like RTX 4080 4090 will be releasing in September possibly so yeah we just look forward to it when it launches but indeed it is going to be launching very soon so yeah that's it from me today what do you think about it sound of your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, like share and subscribe and what do you think about 3090 perform about 7000 performance Ryzen and 1750 XT performance and it indeed is 3 slot design for 4080 so maybe it is 3.5 slots for 4090 so yeah that's it from me today sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next one peace out